All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving another question of mensuration, and this involves a bit of 2D mensuration. Later on, uh, it turns into 3D mensuration. So that's something you can expect from a question of mensuration. It can either be mensuration with followed by trigonometry, or it can be 2D mensuration followed by 3D mensuration. So this was requested by one of my students. So let's get started. This is from May June 2015, paper two, variant one. Okay, so it says here the diagram shows a sector AOB of a circle with center O and radius 9.3 centimeter. The angle of the sector is 260 degrees. Calculate the length of the major arc. Okay, so what's exactly, what exactly is the difference between the major and the minor arc? And the major is the larger of the two, minor is the smaller, of course. So if you want to calculate the arc length of the major arc, the formula remains the same, and that is theta upon 360 multiplied by 2 pi r, theta upon 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. However, the angle that you use is going to be the larger angle which is 260 degrees so all you got to do is 260 upon 360 multiplied by 2 pi times 9.3 so let's work this out 260 divided by 360 into 2 pi into 9.3 so what do you get you get 42.2 which when you round it off 42.20 which again if you round it off correct to three significant figures remains 42.2 and that is the correct answer okay then it says calculate the area of the major sector so again this time you have to calculate the area of the major sector. So formula remains the same, which is theta upon 360 multiplied by pi r square. So 260 upon 360 multiplied by pi into 9.3 squared. So let's work this out. 260 divided by 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 9.3 squared. So what you get is 196.23, 196.23. But then if you round this off correct to three significant figures, you'll have to lock this at 196. And that is the correct answer. Okay, now here's part B. It says, now this is where it's starting to get a little tricky. So it says a sector of radius 0 0.8 centimeter, center O is removed from the sector AOB as shown in diagram one. So this is what it looks like after you've removed the sector. Okay, and this is what it looked like before. Uh, this is what it looked like originally. So you've removed a sector, okay and this same shape is then used to make a part make part of a conical funnel so this has now been folded and turned into a conical funnel ad is joined to bc so this line and these two lines have been joined as shown in diagram two okay the circumference of the top of the conical funnel major is the major arc ab and the circumference of the bottom of the conical funnel is the major arc cd calculate the external surface area of this part of the funnel okay so if i want to calculate the external surface area i should point out that it's basically talking about this area okay now there's no way to actually work out this area because you know i can't really give you a formula like here you go use this formula plug in these these values and work out the area but that's not how this works so what we'll have to do is we'll have to observe the whole transition. So what has happened here is that you've used this shape, this shaded shape, and turned it into this curved thing, okay? So that means the area of this curved surface is the same as the area of this shaded region. So like I said, since there's no way to work out this area, what I'll do is I'll simply work out this area and they'll both be equal. Now, luckily, we kind of have, not the final answer, but what we'll need in order to get to the final answer and that is we have the area of sector AOB uh, worked out previously which is which was 196 so all I gotta do is I gotta take the area of sector AOB okay and from it subtract the area of sector again major okay major sector that means this major sector DOC DOC okay, I should point out again that I'm talking about this sector okay now, this is something I already have, so no need to worry about that. Let's work out the area of the major sector, DOC, the part that has been removed. So this angle is going to be the same, 260 degrees. So 260 degrees upon 360 multiplied by pi into 0 0.8 square. Now, I should point out, I have the previous answer right over here, okay? The answer to part A part 2 right in my calculator. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do put a minus sign, okay? So it's answer minus. Now answer minus this exact thing. So make sure that you make a bracket, 260, make a fraction, 260 upon 360 into pi, and make sure to use your calculator value, 0.8, bracket close, square, bracket close. So this is what I've done. Hopefully you guys can see it. Sorry, it's inverted, but 
guys should be able to see it okay and then press the equals to sign so what do you get you get 194.78 which if you round up correct to three significant figures is going to be 195 so you're looking at 194.78 so rounding this off correct to three significant figures turns out to be 195 so so far so good you get two marks for it okay now the funnel is completely uh, is completed by attaching an open cylinder of height five centimeters so we all know what a funnel looks like you have sort of like a cone towards the top okay and then you have a cylinder at the bottom so this funnel has now been completed by attaching a cylinder of height five centimeter to the bottom of the conical part okay sorry about that show that the radius of the cylinder is 0 0.578 so it's talking about this cylinder let me highlight it for you i'll use a different color let's use yeah so it's saying that show that the area of this sorry the radius of this cylinder is equal to 0 0.578 so what do we know about the cylinder we can use the formula for volume which is sadly we, what we are, which is sadly something we don't have or we can use the area formula now the thing is if you go back so this question is kind of interlinked if you go back the question told us something very important it said that the bottom part of this conical funnel dc is basically the major arc dc okay so this part this length think of it like this so think of it like this that what you have here is a wire which is running from here to here and the same wire was initially running from here to here okay so when you've used when, when you when you use this wire and turn it into a complete circle so the length of the wire remains the same okay what that basically means is that the arc length has stayed the same so the arc length dc the major arc has now been turned into a complete circle so the arc length dc is equal to the circumference of the circle that we have which is running from d to c okay so here's what we're doing the arc length is something did we work it out no we didn't anyway so we'll work it out 260 upon 360 multiplied by 2 pi r so the radius will be 0 0.8 is equal to the circumference over here so 2 pi r so the good thing is 2 pi and 2 pi get cancelled out and let's work out 260 divided by 360 into 0.8 and you're looking at 0 0.5777778 which will then be rounded off to 0 0.578 so 0 0.578 is your radius let's write this nicely 0 0.578 correct to three significant figures okay now then it says calculate the external curved surface area of the cylinder so external curved surface area what does that mean so external curved surface area is basically this area this let me, let me show you this again this area okay now you got to be very careful what area you're asked to calculate okay don't just blindly start using the formula to total surface area formula for the cylinder because that's not what you're supposed to find out in this question you're just asked to find out the external curved surface area and how do you do that the formula is 2 pi r h okay that's the formula for calculating the external oops sorry not the external the curved surface area sorry my bad so curved surface area of a cylinder is basically 2 pi rh make sure that you guys have all your formulas memorized so 2 pi into 0 0.578 into the height which is 5 so let's work this out so into 2 into pi into 5 okay so 18.15 which when you round it off correct to three significant figures is going to be 18.2 centimeters square okay then pretty simple by the way something i should point out is that suppose you guys were unable to solve part two you guys can still do part b and c okay because in part b you have the radius you can use that from two part a 0 0.578 and you have the height right in front of you okay so you should be able to scrape off a few marks from this question if god forbid you're unable to do the previous part okay and you can also work out the volume because again you're going to use the radius and the height uh, and and radius you can use from the previous part height is right in front of you so volume is equals to pi r squared h so volume is equals to pi the radius is 0 0.578 squared times the height which is 5 so let's work this out so shift by into 0 0.578 squared into height which is 5 so you have 5.2477 so i'll log this out 5.25 which is again correct to three significant figures okay so that's that and uh, that's that brings me to the end of this video also so hopefully you guys understood this and uh, that's that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.